In this session, let us start about the surface modeling. So we'll see how to create the surfaces and what all the tools we have related with surfaces. Now let us start with the first one called extrude surface. Now let me go with extrude and whenever you want to create a surface using extrude, you can go with first here extrude as surface icon. Select it, then go with placement and say define and now you can select here the sketching plane. Then I am going to sketch and in case of extrude as surface, you can have an open loop or even you can have a closed loop. So both are accepted. First let us go with an open loop. Now this is the open loop I am taking here. Accept it. Then I am going to control D and you can see this is the surface which we are going to get. See the preview. Now this is the wireframe representation of a surface. And the wireframe representation of a surface will be like this. Instead of white color edges, you are going to have the pink or violet color edges. So this will be the wireframe representation and if you shade it, you can find the surface. Now this is the surface and the surface are going to have almost the thickness will be equal to zero. So here also the thickness of the surface is approximately equal to zero. And for that, let me show you exactly the surface from the front view. If I watch this exactly from the front view, you cannot see the surface anywhere. Now the surface is not at all visible because as we are taking the thickness of the surface approximately equal to zero. So this is the thickness of the surface and the direct surfaces whatever we are creating here in ProE, they are known as quilts. Q-U-I-L-T-S. Now this is a quilt. This is not ordinary surface, this is a quilt surface or you can simply call it as a quilt. So like this we can create the quills in ProE. So this is about extrude, extrude surface and this is nothing but an open loop. Similarly let me take a closed loop. Again I am going with extrude, extrude as surface, then go with placement, define and I am going to sketch now a closed loop. Closed loop accepted and now you can see here this is a surface using a closed loop that will be totally hollow and even here also it is going to have zero thickness but when you are taking a closed loop you can have one more extra option and that option you can find in the options if you go with options here it is going to display cap dense cap dense means the surface will be totally closed even on both the sides now let me switch on this cap dense and if I see the preview all the sides it is going to be closed so a closed surface will be created if we are going with cap dense. Not only in extrude, in any feature whether it is sweep or revolve, whenever we are going with cap dense then the surface will be totally closed. And now this is not a solid block, this is a closed surface. And you can see the wireframe representation. As I told we are going to have the pink and violet color edges. Now you can find here all the violet color edges. So this is about extrude surface. Then now next we'll see about revolve surface. I'm going to revolve. Then here also let me choose revolve as surface. Then go with placement, define and sketch here. Let me take open loop. This is the open loop I'm taking here. Accept it and see the result. Now a surface is created like this. This is a surface. And even this surface is going to have zero thickness. Similarly, if you want, you can take a closed loop. Let me go with edit. Now I am taking a closed loop here. Accept it. And I'm taking here only 180 degrees. Now see the result. Now this is the closed loop surface. And because I'm taking closed loop, just like extrude cap dense, here also if you go with options, you can have the cap dense. Go with cap dense and see the result. Now at the ends it is going to be closed. Totally it is closed. Now this is a closed surface. So this is how we can create the surfaces using revolve. 
and similarly you can create the surfaces using sweep blend swept blend helical sweep variable section sweep so using all the base features whatever we have learned just like solids in the same fashion even we can create surfaces the so surface creation is similar and now i'll see the first editing tool related with surfaces the first editing tool which we are going to learn about the surfaces is merge surfaces and that merge surface tool we can find in the editing toolbar now this is nothing but edit toolbar and in the edit toolbar in case of part modeling we have seen about the mirror and pattern now in the surface modeling we'll see even about the second one called merge tool so this is the merge tool and at a time we can merge two surfaces so now we'll see how to merge them let me create two surfaces using extrude i'm going to extrude go with extrude as surface then go with placement define and you can extrude here one surface accept it and i'm giving here the extrusion height as 100 and accept it then now let me go with one more extrude again extrude as surface let me select the same sketching plane then keep this in wireframe and i am going to select this surface as reference and exactly from the end of this surface let me create one more surface so now totally here we got two surfaces and these two surface by default they will be acting as separate separate surfaces but if i want to convert them into single surface then i have to merge them so now you can go with extrude 1 and extrude 2 so using control you have to select these two surfaces which you want to merge so select them using control and then you can go with merge tool so go with merge tool and here it is going to show the portion whichever it is going to merge with the grid so this grid is nothing but the merging portion so see the mesh here this is the mesh and accept it now this is a merged surface that means totally it is going to act as a single surface so this is about merging two surfaces then we'll see one more example let me delete this extrude 1 and even i'm deleting extrude 2 and now we'll create two fresh surfaces using extrude i am going to extrude as surface and i am taking here an arc then let me go with once again extrude again extrude as surface and i am taking one line now i want to merge these two intersecting surfaces so select these two surfaces using control then go with merge and if you see here it is showing now we got the meshing only for the two portions and the remaining two portions if you see here the two other sides are plain that means after merging what are the excess material we have that will be removed if you see the preview so this is the case in case of intersecting surfaces merge and if you want to change the side to keep then you can go with flip here flip for the first surface and flip for the second surface now you can see the preview so this is how we have to choose any one side if it is having both sides so after intersection if you are going to have two sides then you have to choose the required side which you want to keep you can choose it and then you can have the preview so this is how we can merge the surfaces so this is about merge tool and next we'll see about trim tool and about the trim tool we'll see in the next session